I don't know a single mountains person who would say there's no need to rebuild the nearly 100-year-old Katoomba Hospital. At a recent community meeting, a doctor who works there said doctors and nurses achieved extraordinary outcomes in spite of the outdated facilities, but he described one of the consequences being that the hospital at times delivers third world results in a first world country. We don't have an intensive care unit or 24-7 emergency sur surgery. We don't have an MRI. We don't have adequate orthopaedic or rehabilitation facilities. We need better palliative care facilities. And Cheryl spoke with me just this week from her own loved one's experience about how desperate that need is. We need more mental health facilities. Shiny new plans were rolled out on the eve of the last state election, and our community and hard-working healthcare workers were told improving services was a top priority of the Liberal state government. But since then, silence. And apparently those promises should never have been made because there was no commitment by the government to upgrade it. As Blue Mountains MP Trish Doyle, who's identified the inadequacies over many years, highlights from the recent New South Wales inquiry, there is no agreement on where a new hospital will go, no funding for the planning, and no current plans to upgrade the existing facilities despite leaking roofs and outdated facilities. So here we are back at square one, and we desperately need action from the New South Wales government to start the planning so that construction can get underway. Let me be clear, after a decade of inaction by the Liberals, we need action now. We need a fit-for-purpose public hospital in the Upper Mountains. The community is united in this call. At a local, state and federal level, all Labor elected representatives have been joined by councillors and candidates of all colours. This is a good thing. The hospital auxiliary has been part of this battle. The local Lura Garden Group has been part of the battle. And doctors and nurses have been part of this battle over many, many years. And now it needs a New South Wales government to hear the calls and stump up the funds for the planning. It's what our community deserves.